she is one of the top competitors in the women's division. And she's got double the proof you need. The following is a tag team Hell in a Cell match. Introducing first, representing Damage Control from Auckland, New Zealand, the Raw Women's Champion, Dakota Kai. A look of confidence on her face. Rightfully earned as the double champ. And now she has two women's divisions gunning for her gold. Yeah, but this superstar is more than up to the challenge. She has been absolutely dominant, and I think that dominance will continue tonight. Showing the world titles that she has worked so hard to collect. Make way for the evil genius of the sky. And an evil genius who is now in control. And representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan. One half of the women's tag team champions, EO Sky. EO Sky's list of titles in Japan is a mile long across every major women's division. Now here in WWE, Io has continued that success, but she has something now she didn't have then. She has control. Io Sky made her mark in NXT history as one of the most accomplished superstars in the brand's entire history. Yeah, but Io's change in attitude and her new allies ensure even more success in WWE. has had to overcome countless challenges in her career, both in and out of the ring. You know, she's the first female competitor to hold two world titles at the same time. Became the first women's double champion when she beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the man. The nightmare is real. Here comes Rhea Ripley. Unchecked aggression in the women's division. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea. Pure evil on the face of the Eradicator. You can call it evil, but it's also effective, competing on an even higher level since joining the Judgment Day. I hate to say it, Corey, but you're right. Absolute dominance from Rhea Ripley as of late.
Call her the Nightmare, call her the Eradicator. I call her straight up dominant. Superstars are gazing upon the demonic structure, battling the hazardous hell in a cell. It's going to be Dakota Kai in the sky. And standing across from them, it's a very tough test. Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley. You have to have a lot of animosity for your opposition to agree to a hell in a cell match. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extension on the Becky holds her arm. <laughs> what makes a hell in a cell such an intimidating structure? It's not so much the structure itself as what it allows you to do. There are no limits here. And the superstar who pushes themselves the farthest usually wins. Surprising, no? Impressive reversal there. Jumping step there! What a move! Ooh, what a forearm cut! Ooh, 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 ooh. She covers for the pin! The kick out of only one! She is still in this fight. And now she's getting back into the ring. Out of the ring and into hell itself. And that prevents any offense from Dakota. performance. Things have been fought between these competitors for weeks. We have to notice how tensions have risen even more recently. Nothing seems to be off limits at this point, and that's not a good thing. She's starting to tire a little. Dakota Kai. Domination kick. Bad spot for Ripley. Dakota Kai and Eo Sky. Damage control. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. Gives you hope for the future of the tag division. Great tag team action on display, guys.